Welcome back, YouTube family. This is Sub-Zero Vlogs. Back in another video just for all of y'all. As y'all can see, I got the Subi right here. We're gonna be doing a video all about the mod list of this $50,000 Subaru build. I've had a bunch of you asking me to make this video to talk about all the mods I've done with the car, all the mods I did when I got the car wrapped and upgraded. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you don't follow the journey, hit the subscribe button. Like I always keep saying, guys, go after your dreams and make them reality. Everyone have a great day, a blessed day. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's get it. Peace. All right, y'all, so the beach was a little bit more windier, so I'm gonna do the video over here. So like I said, I'm gonna go over um, all the exterior mods, I'm gonna go over all the interior mods, and I'm gonna go over all the performance mods for the car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the exterior first. So I'm gonna tell you guys all the exterior stuff we did with the car. I'm gonna start with the front and make my way to the back. So in the front, we have the CS front lip. That's probably one of the first things I did, the CS front lip right here. Have a custom splitter underneath. It's very stiff, not too stiff, so if I hit something it breaks, but it's very in there, it's in there tight. The next thing is a carbon fiber grill right here. You don't see many people with this grill. Um, I love it because I also have the red hella horns in there. So that way you're able to really see the hella horns that much easier. The carbon fiber looks really good, especially with this new uh, wrap that I have on the car. The next mod on the front is going to be the carbon fiber hood. This is a carbon creations. I like this hood because it has the mesh. Some of the hoods don't have the mesh, um, but this hood, again, carbon creations, fits really, really good. As you can see, the fitment is really, really clean, really perfect. So, so far, absolutely have no issues with it. It looks great, looks fantastic, and definitely helps keep the engine cool. The next modification I have in the front is gonna be the headlights. So as you see, I have um, the halo rings right here. I also have the 8K HIDs. I also have the custom C-Light pillar. Um, and overall, this just creates the light. So this is the o OEM assembly. I've had a lot of people asking me what headlight this is. This is the OEM assembly. I simply just swapped out the light here for the halo ring. Um, got the C-Light kit right here and got the 8K HIDs. The next mod I have in the car are gonna be these fog light bezels. They come with the fog lights and the daytime running lights or the DRLs. They look fantastic. They're just on when I turn the car on. That's how I set them. These are the APR canards. APR canards. Love them. The fitment is super perfect. Um, APR is always great. So if you guys can get any type of arrow from APR, definitely go ahead and get them. This license plate delete kit. Um, love it. Got this actually when I bought the car first. I'm more of a clean type of look. And uh, I like having the fact that my license plate is here. The license plate bracket that I have is actually the Perrin license plate bracket. Um, I have a video talking about the install for this, but very, very simple. So going from that to that just looks way better in my opinion. I really like it. And lastly, the last few things that you see on the front of the car, it's gonna be, you know, the decals right here, the black gloss wrap right here, kind of just making the front look that much more aggressive. So this is the front of the car and all the mods for the front. All right, so as you see, this is the side of the car. Let's go through the side. Again, I'm gonna start from the front, make my way to the back of everything on the side of the car. So the first thing you're gonna notice is probably gonna be the HT Auto Fender Flares. I get a bunch of people asking me, what kit is this or what body kit is this? This is the HT Auto Fender Flares kit. Did cut into the fenders. So as you see, the fenders are cut, but it allows much more room for the tires and wheels. Moving on to the tires and the wheels. These wheels are the Forged Star F14s. They are forged wheels. Absolutely love these. Hit up PK All Design if you guys want some wheels. Fantastic, they do a great job of shipping. These are the blood red color. So Forged Star F14s, blood red. The wheel fitment on these are 18s by 11 plus 20. 18 by 11 plus 20. So these are big boys. These are the super uh, concave or super deeps. The tires are gonna be the Zenis. They're actually 295 by 30 by 18. 295, 30, 18. The next mod is gonna be these gloss black and red emblem decals. I love these much more than the silver ones. The black and the reds really just look great with the car with the red accents I have on the vehicle. And also on the side right here, this is a gloss black piece. You know, way down, you might see this vinyl stripe. Um, this is a gloss black vinyl stripe. I didn't go to this line right here because this line slants up. I actually went just straight across. It looks much more sportier. The next mod that you can see on the car is going to be the side skirt. This side skirt is a pretty wide side skirt. It's actually the Aeroflow side skirt, so it's not the STI one. It's really, really good with the car, especially with the HT uh, fender flares. Now, as you can see, I got the side skirt to match perfectly with basically the wheels um, and the tires, so that way it flows that much better. 
Of the rain splash guards on the car. Um, not too expensive, got these. The next thing you might see is this carbon fiber side piece right here. Um, I got these overlays from Subi Speed, super cheap, they're like 10 bucks, but they really kind of just add to the car, especially the carbon fiber. The next thing you see, I talked about this in my video before, these are the Suma side mirrors. They are absolutely fantastic. They even show up um, when I do turn signals. What's cool is these side mirrors, you see the turn signals even pop up on the side mirrors. They're very clear. This blue color is awesome and it's very easy to see um, out of the car. Go hit up Suma Performance. They got these side mirrors for Subarus and other cars. I highly recommend. A gloss black roof, carbon fiber vortex generator on the car as well. Lastly, we're gonna talk about the back of the car and everything and all the mods on the back side. So the first thing is gonna be the premium auto tail light cover tint right here. It doesn't cover anything. So the lights are still fully functional and still work. See? Oh, hold up. Check out the way the wrap. So this wrap is like a metallic uh, gold color. So in different lines, it's kind of gold. It's kind of a dark green. It's kind of like a black. You can tell, but it looks fantastic, man. So fantastic. So the next mod I have is going to be this carbon fiber gurney flap. So aggressive. I love it. The fitment is clean. It just makes the car look that much better. I got the STI wing right here with Perrin wing stabilizers. This wing does not move at all. It doesn't go anywhere. I got the carbon fiber emblem in the back. I got the gloss black uh, where the um, license plate is. So that way it's easier to see. I love the black. And this is one of my favorite parts in the back bumper. Having this black and then this gloss black as well with this just kind of makes the back bumper seem way more aggressive like it just looks great is i have a custom diffuser it's a little dirty but the custom diffuser is absolutely sick and the great thing is i know a lot of people don't like single exit but i love my single exit because you can see you know i got my white line control arms my box sway bar is in there got my white line end links in there um, i got a whole bunch of suspension parts so when i'm driving on the road you know, and you're behind me, you can see like all that suspension parts in the red. So the red accents really pop up everywhere in the car. I have this F1 brake light right here. And the last thing is I have a Tomei catback exhaust. I don't think I missed anything on the outside. This is just <laughs> the exterior mods list on my car. There's a few decals I didn't say. Uh, if I missed anything, I do apologize. I have so many mods. I'm trying to list everything for you guys but just show you overall how the car is looking. So next, let's get into the interior mods on the car. All right, so first interior mod is gonna be this Buddy Club Racing Steering Wheel. This is fantastic. The carbon fiber is dope. It looks great, it feels great, it's awesome. I love the red stripe right here. The carbon is great. I have a carbon fiber overlay. This is from Subi Speed. This overlay right here matches the grip overlay on the steering wheel, so I absolutely love it. I do have a Cobb access port. We'll get into the performance stuff, but that's a that's a given. I have the black and red gloss interior pieces. I got this from Subi Speed. So these three gloss pieces, so clean, so good. The black and the red just accents well. As you can see um, from the outside, I, got, I love the black and the red. My shifter is a Subi Speed shifter. It's kind of like a Dragon Balls, but like a red kind of candy uh, red color. It works very well with my short throw shifter. I have a Perrin short throw shifter and pitch stop mount. It's are very bam, 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 bam. So it's very short. So anyone that wants to get definitely their first few mods in the Subaru, a short throw shifter and a shift knob are definitely things that I would recommend getting first. This mod is gonna be the Sagav nine inch screen. Um, it's got navigation in it. It's got CarPlay, it's got Apple Play. Um, even the Subi logo, like it is absolutely fantastic. Again, I got this from Sagav. Go ahead and hit them up. They're gonna be in the descriptions below. The, the sound quality is way better. I talked about the sound quality in one of my uh, review videos um, on this, uh, in this car, and the sound quality was so bad, but now that I got this, the sound quality is so much better. The next mod, and one of my favorite mods, are these Braum racing seats. These are the Elite X, the Komodo Dragon style racing seats. These feel fantastic, they hug you, they're just so stiff, so stable, and there's no movement, like you're in here. It's, it's definitely full on race car. If you don't have any Braum racing seats or you're looking for some racing seats, Braum's quality is second to none. The price range is very competitive and they do a great job. So the one more time, these are the Braum 
racing seats. I got the WeatherTech um, mats for my car. I love them. Fitment is very good. The Fitment does a good job of hugging the walls, so that way dirt does not fall underneath this. The next mod is from the homie The Shaddai. The Shaddai. I'm sure you all have seen his YouTube. He's also got a clean Subaru honeycomb carbon, which is a carbon fiber material. He does a great job. He sells a lot of dope products, so go ahead and hit him up. I'll put his link also in the description below as well. I also got the gloss black rings right here. Looks so much better instead of having the plastic and the silver. The gloss black just seems to match much better in the car. Lastly, let's get to the most important piece that I feel a lot of you have with my Subaru, and that is the performance, the engine, and just overall just the drivability mods that I did on my Subaru WRX, y'all. So the first mod, as you see, is going to be the Cobb intake. Love how it sounds. You're driving. You can really hear that psh, psh sound. Um, but that is enhanced by my bypass valve from Go Fast Bits. Um, it's full recircling, so it's not super loud, but it works very good. So the bypass valve from um, Go Fast Bits being 100% recirc and the Cobb intake work and sound very good together. Next mod you guys can see in the engine bay is going to be this Torque Solutions um, pulley cover. Just a pulley cover, does not do anything for performance, but look at the color, man. Look at the color. That's. It's just fantastic. The next, as you can see, is gonna be the Mishimoto radiator. The Mishimoto radiator right here. I live in California, so temperatures on my coolant, you know, they're between 186, 190, 192, 194, even in like 90 degree heat. The battery, as you see, I got the red Optima battery right here, and you already can tell the colors all very consistent. Lots of red accents everywhere in the car, red interior, red and black uh, engine bay, red and black accents. It just all matches. You know, I have a lot of electronics going on from the lights, from the interior stereo, to a lot of power components in the car, and this um, does a great job of just having that power for me when I need it. The next mod right here is gonna be this parent charge pipe. Adds more flow fits really good obviously it looks good but it works very well especially on the dyno the next mod right here is going to be my grim speed top mount intercooler the top piece and the bottom piece to make sure that fitment is spot on i know a lot of people want to go top mount or front mount and they don't know what to do if you're going to be under 400 uh, horsepower, go top mount. It keeps things cleaner. You get instant boost more. Front mount's great if you're going for big power, but there's more boost lag than being in a top mount. So if you want just under 400, quick boost, quick acceleration, and get the best power under 400, go ahead and get the Grimsby top mount. More so AOS. I've talked about the AOS a million times. Y'all already know. If you haven't, the AOS is probably the most important mod you can get for a Subaru when you're first getting it. A few of the mods underneath here you can't see, but I'll try and show you the best I can for a few of them. I got the uh, Mishimoto TGV deletes right here. They're gonna be the gold uh, pieces right here, right there, be the gold pieces. I got the uh, IAG EGR deletes as well, so I have both of those. Underneath this, I have the Perrin headers, equal length headers. I know a lot of people saw my video where I was gonna do the unequal length headers. Still haven't gotten the unequal length headers yet. Um, decided to go a different route with my car. All the unequal length tires, I haven't been getting the best results um, from what I've seen with them as far as performance or reliability. So right now, I love my pair in equal lengths. They work great for me. Underneath this, I have a Cobb J-pipe. It is catted, y'all. It is catted. That goes into a Tomei catback exhaust system. So my full exhaust is Tomei to a J-pipe from Cobb to a pair in equal length headers. Oh, almost forgot. I also got um, the Grinspeed electric boost control solenoid under here. I am also on E85. I'm on an E30 mix tune mostly. Uh, so I mostly just run a mixture just underneath half E85 and the rest 91. All right, y'all, so this is my $50,000 Subaru. This is my dream Subaru build. It is fully complete. I got some great, amazing things coming soon to the channel. Stay tuned. It's about to get absolutely insane, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And like I always keep saying, guys, go after your dreams and make them reality. Everyone have a great day, a blessed day. And again, guys, keep doing what you love. Peace.